Hello. Welcome to this new Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. In previous lesson, we have just created two gusset plate joint connections for two diagonals. Today I will show you how to create a gusset plate for one only diagonal. Now open Advanced Tool Palette. We are going to create gusset plate which connects UPN 140 lying on elevation 4730 to the column at grid A and column at grid D. On Home tab, select Connection Vault in Extended Modeling Group. Then select General Bracings on Connections Vault, and then select Gusset Plate at one diagonal tool. Select them and press Enter. Then, select press UPN 140 and press enter again to finish the command. Now spit the screen into two views, in the right one, we change the view from NW isometric to left. Now right click on the joint box, and then select Advanced Joint Properties from Context menu. Now we are going to adjust the gap between the end of UPN and the flange of the column. The distance diagonal 1 profile value on the dialog box is 20 which is the distance between end of UPN 140 and the web of the column. Switch to 2D drawing. Check the designed gap between end of UPN beam and the flange of the column. It is 10 mm. In order to get the gap, we need input 126 into distance diagonal 1 profile field, then check the gap in model again. Now switch back to the gusset plate at one dialog box. Select None option in Chamfer field. Then select Bolts tabs, we select 12 mm for bolt diameter, then type 2 as number of bolt columns.
switch to bolt distance, type 25 in distance diagonal bolt field, and type 50 in intermediate distance then type 25 in distance bolt gusset field. Next we are going to adjust the bolt's positions, E by selecting the center line option. Its symmetry across the center line of the UPN 104. In order to adjust the distance between two bolt columns, we are going to type 25 into intermediate distance field. Now we are going to adjust the gusset height, the designed value is 270 mm, the current height is equal the height of UPN 140, so that we must add 65 mm for both lower and upper edge. Type minus 65 for projection 1, upper edge, and then type 65 for projection 3. Back to 3D model and check the gusset plate height again, it must be 270 mm. Then also check the gusset width, it is now 226. And next we are going to chamfer the gusset plate at the top right and bottom and right next corner. we are going to chamfer the gusset plate at the top right and bottom right corner. On advanced tool palette, select feature group, then select corner cut tool, and then select the left above corner of the gusset plate. Now on edge processing diagonal box, type 55 for X field and type 176 for Y field. Do the same procedure for the lower left corner. If you don't want to show corner cut edge. Right click on the gusset plate and select advanced properties from context menu. On plate dialog box, select display type tab, then select features finally select standard again. Now we are going to copy this gusset plate from grid 1A to grid 1D. And we are going to use corner cut tool to chamfer both right upper and right lower corner of the gusset plate. Thank you so much for watching. And see you soon.